All right, I'm gonna start down here and then move that way. And don't worry everybody, I'm gonna get you a really good view of everything I got here. Now, it looks like a lot, but in theory, it isn't. But it is when it covers several bases for several meals, including snacks and so on, okay? First, I got a bag of Halos. Check this out. You know those little oranges? I like these. Jay loves these. They're great in smoothies. They're great for when you get a cold. <laughs> I love them. Now, these were $2.99 on sale. And mind you, most of the stuff I got was on sale. Okay? I got a bag of vine ripened tomatoes. Excuse the house, it looks just a mess, it's under construction. I'm trying to block that. These are delicious. <laughs> nice and ripe. I think these were $2.49 a pound, yes. $2.49 a pound. $1.99. Bag of onions. $1.99. Not bad. I got a bag of potatoes for $1.99, okay? Then I got a whole bag of spinach. I can't remember how much this was, but it's prepackaged and I like that. Uh, I already cleaned, but I still wash it off myself. Because we're gonna make a nice salad for dinner tonight. And I'm also gonna be snacking on some sushi because I'm trying to keep it light because your Uncle Chris has got to lose these pounds, okay? Got to lose his weight. All right. I got some salad mix. I love this. It's got all the stuff in it, the purple cabbage, the romaine lettuce, carrots, iceberg lettuce. Mm-hmm. I love this. Absolutely love it. Oh, two red onions. Now look, red onions are really good for you, okay? Especially if you have a cold, to keep you healthy. Eat raw red onions, okay? I got three packs of green onions. I think they call these scallions as well. You're gonna see what I use these to make. Um, tonight's soup that we're gonna make, if you watched the previous video, uh, I told you that I'm gonna make some mushroom soup. And I'm gonna show you how you do that. And these are gonna be part of that and another dish too. Love the way they smell. I got some pepperoncinis, the banana peppers, some nice ones. Oh, I got some Aunt Nellie's pickled beets. Not sponsored. <laughs> this was from the food pantry. <laughs> I got some mayonnaise. Love a mayonnaise because I make my own dressings. I got two containers of dip. They were on sale. The spinach dip. And also I got the French onion dip for watching movies and stuff like that. Now, two packs of mushrooms. These are going to be the star of the dinner I do tonight because I'm doing my fancy mushroom soup. Yeah. I got two packs of cream cheese. And here, I want you all to see something. I bought four cans of dark red kidney beans because soon, guess what your uncle's going to be making? That's right, red beans and rice. Now, I got four cans of those. Two packs of my cream cheese. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to make with the cream cheese and the scallions. I got some butter. Some red pepper hummus. Two cans of the mushroom soup. Now, you're going to say, Uncle Chris, didn't you get some mushroom soup from the food pantry? Yes, but it wasn't low sodium. These are heart healthy and low sodium. So I'm going to mix these with two of the cans I got from the food pantry, and it'll, it'll uh, work out. Because I'm making a big pot of soup, and this will be just right, okay? All right. I got some smoked sausage. This one, hold on. 
Yeah, it has the skin on it. I love this because this is going to go in my red beans and rice. You will love this too. <laughs> oh, you've got to try these. I, I'm not sponsoring this, but these roasted vegetable crackers, these are wonderful. They're also going to uh, play into tomorrow's dish. I got three bags, which were on sale for $2.99 a bag, of the 50% less sodium wavy chips. Now, you all know how hard those are to find. They usually just have the regular chips. And they break in the dip. These don't. And they have 50% less sodium. I was in heaven. Yes, I was. <laughs> oh, $7. A whole bag of shrimp. $7. Amazing. I got four green seasonings because for Christmas and New Year's, I'm doing Southern style dinners and that includes some smoky greens. That's right. Now, for the meat, I got a whole pack of country style ribs. Uh, and as you can see, they're boneless. And they were $10. Okay. I also got how many pounds is this? I got four pounds, basically, of uh, beef. Here. It was fourteen twenty-eight. Okay. Then I got these imitation crabs. Uh, they were two for five dollars, so I got four of them. Now, what am I going to do with all these? I'm going to do one of my all-time favorite holiday appetizers, crab rangoon, in the next video. That's what the cream cheese is for, and the uh, uh, onions, the green onions. Now, it may look like a lot, it may not, but this serves more than one meal. And I got stuff ahead of time thinking for Christmas and New Year's. Now, can you guys guess down below how much I paid for all of this? I'll give you a minute. And while you're thinking about it, if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, subscribe or Santa will bring you coal. <laughs> I'm joking. Subscribe to the channel. All right. Nieces and nephews, I paid $142 for just this. And I didn't get hardly that much meat. So, now you see how the food pantries really do help. Because, let's face it, this is not going to go that far. It'll go far enough. But, I use the food pantry to supplement what I buy. Alright? And please out there, don't be afraid to use the food pantries. Don't uh, be stigmatized by it or be ashamed of it. You hold your head up because you know you're doing something for your family. Don't sit there and suffer. Do something. And if you know somebody who needs some food, let me know so I can help them if you can't. All right? Now, what am I going to make today? Let's do the crab rangoon. <laughs> it's simple. You'll love it. If you've ever wondered how to make this, I'm going to show you. This will be a lovely appetizer at Christmas, okay? All right, I'm gonna put this stuff up and get to cooking. Come on with me. I sure wish you could help me clean up. Mm. <laughs> okay, nieces and nephews, to go along with our crab rangoon, we're gonna have some teriyaki style ribs with some rice. Now, to do this is very simple. I'm using low sodium soy sauce, I'm going to use a lot of that. It's going to be enough to cover the ribs themselves. Once you see how easy this is done, you're going to do it yourself. Use at least a tablespoon of garlic. <laughs> okay. A lot of garlic. Okay. Then, you're going to take about a half cup 
of brown sugar and add to this mixture. Mix this all around to incorporate it into the sauce. Okay. Now I'm going to add little bit of jalapeno just for some kick you don't have to now I'm going to put the pieces of pork in there and marinate these overnight you can marinate for overnight or uh, a day the longer it's in here the better oh yes Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna put in fact the rest of the soy sauce in here because I want it to go over top of every piece. I want it to soak up that sauce. And when you're cooking it, you can even put some of the sauce in there. Some of the marinade. As long as you cook it, you can use the marinade in your sauce. Okay? All right, now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, let it soak up all the flavor for all night, and then we will be back to complete our dish. Oh yeah. The main dish that's going with our crab rangoon is a simple Asian dish that I make with rice, or you can also make it with ramen noodles. First thing first, you gotta get your wok hot or your skillet. I just happen to have a wok, I'm lucky, okay? Now, <clears throat> all we're doing right now is browning the, uh, the meat. I showed you how to make this marinade for the pork. It's marinated 24 hours or overnight. I'm putting this in right now just to get it brown. Then we're going to pour some um, water and vegetables in and let it cook down to get real tender. Then after that we serve with our crab rangoon and our rice. All right. All right, nieces and nephews, now that you got it, at this point, with some color on it, what we're gonna do, fill the wok with water. Put a little bit, hear me now, a little bit of the marinade, because the marinade is salty, in there. About half a cup. And a couple of the jalapenos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, we're going to let this cook down. When it cooks down halfway, we're going to add the vegetables. In the meantime, let's make our crab rangoon. All right, nieces and nephews, this recipe is very, very simple. All you need. Two packs of cream cheese, okay? What the heck? <laughs> Some wonton wrappers. Two packs of imitation crab or real crab. Some scallions or green onions. And um, some sugar, okay? You can put onion or garlic, add to it, but that's all I add in mine, 
okay? Now, the first thing we're going to do is chop up our onions and get them out the way. All right. Chop these up as fine as you can, okay? Because you want them to incorporate throughout the uh, mixture. You can even use this as a dip, believe it or not. So if you ever love these things, you can make them right at home. Because you know you go out to a restaurant, you got your mouth all set for them, then you realize that uh, certain restaurants are not as, well, high-end as others. And instead of there being a lot of crab in them, there's mostly just cream cheese and no seasoning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then they've done that. Well, mine, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Now, put our onion all in here. Yes, yes. You want to take your crab. And you really want to kind of shred it up. Okay? Tear it apart like that. So that there's crab in every bite. Okay? So how is everybody doing out there? What you doing for Christmas? I got my family over here. We're going to watch a Christmas movie. And we're going to eat uh, eating up on the uh, Chinese food I'm making tonight. Oh, yes. I should say Asian. I want to be politically correct. I don't want to offend anybody out there. Let me know if I'm right. Is crab rag good? Where, is it, where does it come from? You know, is this an American thing they just made up? Or is it actually something in Asia? You know, let me know, because I do not know. All I know how to do is make this dish. That's all I know how to do. <laughs> all right. Go to my second pack here. And this makes a lot. Okay. I'd always make them fresh. You can make these and bring them to a party. They'll be a great hit. Um, so what you want to do is probably... Fry them and get them over there as quickly as possible. But uh, what I would do is just make it into a dip. That's what I would do. Now, we're going to put in our cream cheese. Now, I'm going to put in about I don't know, a tablespoon of sugar. Now, all you do is mix everything together. But when you do this, make sure your cream cheese is room temperature. Otherwise, it will be stiff as a brick and hard to work with. Okay, now that you have this completely mixed, take your wonton wrapper. I guess it's one wonton. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wet the edges, just like this. Okay, because that's going to allow you to close it and glue it together. Don't overstuff these. Just put some in there and keep going. Okay. We pinch them together just like that. Okay. Then go on to your next one and do the same thing. That's my uh, sister and my little nephew over there <laughs> in the background. They're watching the movie. All right. Put a little bit more right here. Okay. 
You see, you fold corner to corner like that, seal up the holes, corner to corner. And it makes that fancy little thing like you have in the restaurant, just like that. Now I'm gonna make the rest of these, then we're gonna fry them up and finish our main dish. Okay, now that I've got them all wrapped up, we're gonna go over to the stove, fry them up, and finish our main dish. Now that this is cooked halfway down, we're gonna add in our veggies. I've got one onion chopped up very finely, because my sister complains I don't chop it fine enough. And I've got two green peppers chopped up finely. <laughs> Now we're going to let this cook for at least 45 minutes, okay? Till this cooks down, makes its own sauce, and the meat is very tender. All right. Ooh, yes. See this nieces and nephews when the meat's like that? It's ready. You tear it apart in the pot. Yep. All right, our main dish is done. I'm just making sure our oil is hot enough to put our crab rangoon in and we're gonna fry them up. Let's see, let's try grain the rice. <laughs> oh yeah, it's ready. I'll put these in. And they only take a few minutes to fry. Two minutes, they're done. I will pop them out and we're gonna serve. I'll rather plate up the dish and get to eating. <laughs> Ooh, nieces and nephews, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Golden brown, oh yeah. You don't wanna cook them too long because they cook really fast and they cook through very quickly, okay? You want a light golden brown, otherwise they will taste burned. This is one of my favorites for the holidays. All right, let's plate up this dish and see how it comes out. All right, nieces and nephews, there you have it. We've got our main dish with our sauce over top of our rice, which is absolutely delicious and tender. And our appetizer, our crab rangoon. Oh, yeah.